Hello YouTube. Right now I'm going to be showing you the scale of the summit's glacial planet breakdown. Uh, as you know in the song, they have a reoccurring breakdown uh, with chord changes and different timing, uh, as well as new time signatures every time. Uh, and I think the reason that the artists are able to do this is because they have more than just a traditional progressive style or a modern metal, metal style. They've incorporated a lot of different grooves in order to make this happen. Uh, I'm sure the um, I'm sure the guitarists uh, practice some sort of uh, jazz theory or jazz chords on a regular basis. I know the drummer um, uses a lot of different grooves and a lot of different styles instead of just sticking to one particular genre. So uh, I think that's why this band is so musically versatile. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be showing you the core rhythm for the Glacial Planet Breakdown. I'll show it uh, to you guys on the hi-hat here, then on the bass drum, um, and then I'll play you my interpretation of what uh, I thought it sounded like. Um, uh, some fills uh, I thought up and other things. I encourage you guys to do two things. Um, incorporate your own fills to this uh, because it's a, it can be a great tool to practice something fucking fun and groovy and uh, slow it down a bit so you can include accents which will actually make the overall piece uh, a tad more challenging. So here it is, I'll count it out for you guys. I hope you know the piece I'm uh, talking about. It's uh, Okay, so I'll show you my interpretation of that now. Uh, first, I'll show you it on the kick drum. This is what I thought that beat sounded like.